All right, I've had a um, couple of videos about my HP Pavilion DV6809WM, and I've also had a couple comments asking about the graphics card, is it NVIDIA? And um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I haven't had the time with um, school being in the way. So here I finally am on September 11th. So anyways, if you've got a NVIDIA graphics card, this will work for you. If you don't, it's not going to work because only NVIDIA supports this. First, you need to get the driver. If you don't have that, fire up a web browser and go to nvidia.com. N-V-I-D-I-A.com. Go to download drivers, download drivers, and then search for what you have. So I already have the driver, so I'm not going to do that. And then once you've installed it, and I think it wants you to reboot, so do that. Right hand click on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. Here that is. Over on the left, go to under the display tab, adjust desktop color settings. If you don't have these tabs over here, it'll be right about here, and you'll see that same option that says adjust desktop color settings under display. Click that, and then you'll see under number two, the sliders. Brightness should be about 50%. Digital vibrance. Default is zero. The screen looks very dis very dim. There's no there's no color in it. If you move it even up to 25, it will look so much better. If you move it up to 50, if you're not used to it, you're gonna say it doesn't look good. Put it at 50. I suggest putting it at 50, and then go down and select apply, or even 55 like that. It really pops the display. It really looks great. I can't stress that enough. Also, something to look at is 3D settings, adjust image settings with a preview. I suggest emphasizing for performance. Um, the chess game in Vista is a little bit... Well, it's sm it, the uh, workings of it, they're, that's smooth, but the pieces and the board are... You'll see soon. The P, yeah, look at that. The P, and I have a, I have graphics quality all the way up on whatever the highest is, and it doesn't really look good. Now you'll see if I let the 3D application cheat decide and then hit apply, and I might have to restart chess, and it won't even let me switch over to chess. Let's restart chess. It's going to look a lot better, but stuff is going to be, yeah, look how choppy that is now. I mean, the moving of it. it looks better, but the pieces are like moved in different frames, which I don't like. So I don't suggest that, but emphasizing for performance. My, the laptop I'm using, it's not a gaming laptop. It's rated a 3.0 by Windows. Come on, it's not for gaming. I'm not using it for that. I don't care. I want it to run Windows well, and it does if I put it on performance. So the main two things I'm stressing here are the digital vibrance. Leave everything else default, that's fine. Digital vibrance is a great tool and um, emphasize for performance unless you want quality and you might be um, sacrificing a bit of performance. So again, that's the video. It really pops windows, really great for media stuff. And uh, thank you very much for watching. More to come soon.